welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your Jack and this is another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. Today we're using Photoshop Elements 10, but this will also work all the way back through, I believe, at least version 5. Of course, if you are in version 5, you probably should upgrade by now. So, uh, since we are five versions away from that. But today we're going to talk to you about blending pictures. Now, I did this tutorial some time ago, a couple years ago. Uh, it was It's a really big hit on uh, YouTube. So I thought I would go ahead and reinvent this tutorial once again. And we're going to add a little bit to this, as I'll show you when we go through the tutorial. We already have uh, the girl here. This is actually my daughter. She's actually extracted already. And she's pulled out of the picture. And I'll be doing another extraction video. Just uh, watch for that. That'll be coming up on how to do uh, a couple different ways to do extractions again. So she's already extracted here. And what we're going to do is we're going to blend her into a picture, um, just a background that we pulled off the internet. This is also nice. I called this uh, tutorial one time, putting people where they weren't. So it's a very nice, uh, easy tutorial to learn, and it's an easy uh, edit that you may use over and over. So let's go ahead, and first we have her extracted already. This was the normal background, and I extracted her out of the background, and we came up with this. And like I said, watch for a video coming up on extractions. We'll be doing that very soon. What we're going to do now is go up to Select, and we're going to select All. And that way she's all selected. We are then going to do edit copy. And then we'll switch over to the background that we pulled from the internet and edit and we're going to paste and we'll paste her right in there. Now she looks very big for this actual scene. So what you're going to want to do is click up here on the move tool and we can simply resize her. All you have to do then is just grab from the top corner and just pull down in towards your subject. That keeps the proportion uh, correct. Let's go ahead and move her over a little bit. Right about there. Now it looks like she has that beach coming from behind her. The sunlight is catching on her shoulder over here, so that looks pretty realistic. But I thought we would go ahead and we're going to go one step further. With this layer selected, the layer that was just created here uh, with the uh, person that we just pulled into this picture, we're going to simply go up to Filter, then we're going to go down to Render, and now we're going to go down to Lighting Effects. I thought what we would do here is add some more light to her side just to show where this sunlight is coming from and how it would be lighting her up. Now all you have to do is click on this here and you can actually move this around. So we're going to put it right about on her, uh, right about on her arm right there. And then we're just going to lighten her up just a little bit more by pulling these out. You can see now how it gives it more of a lighting effect here on her side. You can also raise the intensity or lower the intensity of the light. So you can lower it down to minus 12 or you can raise it up. Just always be careful that you don't end up getting a overexposed shot. We're just adding an effect. We're not going to blow the picture out. Click OK. And now you can see she's more lit on that side. And as I said, that's actually too much lighting. So we're going to undo that. We'll go back to Filter and Render, Lighting Effects. And we're going to just lower the intensity down a little bit. We'll just lower it down to 20. There, that just gave her a little bit more soft light on her side there. The only last thing I would say to do, now this was a quick selection here, would be to uh, clean the selection up a little bit just to make it more realistic. The last thing we're going to do when you're blending anything in, when you click on this layer, you go to select. Now, when you click on this layer here, what we're going to do now is come down. We have our move tool selected. That's why she's outlined. We are going to go down to our Blur tool, and with a brush size that says of 150, the strength I'm going to pull up here to about 75. 
we're just going to go over the edges here and this will kind of blend it in a little bit it's going to blur the edges any hard edges from your selection when you're pulling somebody into a new scene you want to go over the edges and just kind of blur them and the way this tool works is the more you click on it the more you move it is the more you're going to actually put the effect on them so just go around some that's going to make it more realistic like the person was actually standing you know we could have been on a beach here or something uh, that could have been the background there and uh, we actually took that picture that way so you just want to make it as realistic as possible well thank you very much for joining me here uh, for this video tutorial on uh, blending uh, pictures and um, working with some rendering and some lighting effects if you've enjoyed this video please click on the subscribe button subscribe to my youtube channel and as i post new videos youtube will be notified also if you enjoy working with photoshop elements check out my website jackstechcorner.com and i have a full range of uh, video uh, dvds or learning dvds so you too can learn photoshop elements Thanks for watching. I hope you tune in often and always as I produce these new videos. And I'll see you next time here on Jack's Tech Corner. So long for now.